the recording. You are live. Great. All right, welcome everybody. It's Wednesday and uh, it feels like summer is approaching. So that's a good thing. It's nice and warm here and uh, we have a beautiful day in Woodenville. Uh, okay, so um, uh, Monday I made an announcement. So I'm gonna be making the same announcement here today. Uh, we have just finalized our survey as of uh, this morning, and I'd like to give uh, a huge shout out to uh, Dee Dee, who, uh, uh, when you go to the survey, what the survey looks like, she put it in Google Docs, uh, made it look absolutely wonderful. Uh, Judy and Pierre and Fanny and Rita and um, uh, uh, all gave their input. Uh, to uh, make sure that the questions were uh, adequate and that we would have sufficient information. So, so after class or sometime uh, after class tonight, I'm going to be sending that uh, survey out to everybody. And uh, I'd like to get everybody's response by this Sunday uh, so that we can then compile the information and then uh, have a discussion on uh, the next steps uh, towards summer, what uh, direction we're going to be taking, uh, if we're going to be adding additional classes, so on and so forth. So your input is very vital to what it is that we're going to be doing next. So um, uh, uh, know that 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 whatever feedback you give us uh, will be uh, read and it will be heard and it will be discussed. And uh, so your vote matters. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so I'll be sending that out uh, later today. Okay, so uh, we're in the second section and I believe last week we covered the first separation kick. So today, uh, as long as everything goes okay, we'll go on to the second separation kick. All right, so uh, uh, let's go ahead and start our practice and we will start at cross hands and go in the second section. Okay. So uh, stand with your feet shoulders width apart. Make sure both of your feet point straight if you can. Uh, knees slightly bent, head lifted up, arms crossed. Okay, right arm on the outside. Okay, so we go to embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Roll back. Push. Fist under elbow. Step back, repulse the monkey, one, two, three, diagonal fly. Raise hands, step forward. White crane spreads its wings. Left knee brush. Needle at the sea bottom. Fan through the back. Turn body, chop with fists. Step up, parry, block, and punch. Step up, right, ward off. Roll back. Press.
push. Single whip. Cloud hands. What? Three, single whip, high pad on horse, right separation kick. Okay, how's that? Anybody have any questions on any of the movements so far? Are we doing okay? Okay, that's a no. All right, so everybody's doing good. All right, so let's go on. So we're at separation kick. So what's the footwork gonna be for our next movement? Okay, so uh, we're here at the kick uh, and we bend our knee. We're gonna sit. Sit means we're gonna lower ourselves down so our foot can touch the floor. We're gonna sit and we're gonna step. How are you gonna step? You need to make sure that you are shoulders width apart, okay? And make sure that when you step, that your heel points inside the corner. And move weight to the right. Stand up with the left knee pointed shy of the corner, then kicking with the top part of the foot, okay? All right, so let's try that again. So here we are at right separation kick. We're gonna bend our knee, sit, step, make sure that our foot points inside the corner, shift weight to the right, stand up. Now our knee is not gonna be pointing straight to nine o'clock. It's gonna be pointing uh, uh, inside this corner. Then we're gonna go ahead and kick and bend our knee. All right, let's try that one more time. So from here, let me go your same direction. Okay, so from here we kick. All right, sit, step, move weight, stand up, kick, bend your knee. Okay, all right, any questions on the footwork? Okay, that's a no, all right. Upper body movement, okay. All right, so uh, let, let me start here. So we're at cross hands here. Then we stand up and then we look and then we kick. When you bend your knee, the right arm rotates palm facing up, left hand palm facing forward, okay? So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna look, we're gonna kick. When our knee bends, our arms rotate. Sit, step, okay? Make sure you're inside the corner. Now, from here, the right arm's gonna go on the outside. The left arm is gonna come on the inside. And here, because it's seated here, when it, when it comes in towards your elbow, make sure that it's still seated. Then the right palm goes underneath the left elbow, and then from here, we separate, okay? So this is a mere uh, image at this point of the first one. So, so after our kick, rotate the right arm, left hand to the shoulder. Right arm goes on the outside, left arm's coming in on the inside, left palm is lifted, circle, separate, <coughs> excuse me. Then from here, level bring your left arm across. Then from here, we're gonna to look to the left corner and we're going to kick, okay? <clears throat> so let's try that again. Uh, so we're here at cross hands. We look, we turn, and then we kick. When you bend your knee, right arm rotates left hand to the shoulder. Right arm stays on the outside, left arm stays on the inside. Circle, 
separate, close your arms, look, and kick. Okay? <clears throat> All right, let's try that one more time. From cross hands, look to the right, and we kick. All right? Rotate your arms. Left hand to the shoulder, right hand palm up. Circle your arms, right arm on the outside, left arm on the inside. Circle and separate. Are your right fingers pointing to the left middle forearm? All right, level, bring your left arm across for cross hands. Then look to the left and open for our kick. Okay, anybody have any questions on the arm movements? Okay, that's a no. All right, so uh, let's do this. Let's start at the first uh, separation kick. We'll go to high pad on horse. Uh, I'll go to, um, Maybe I'll go this direction. I'll go this direction first, okay? All right, right separation kick. Open, step, close, circle, separate, close, standing up, look, and kick. When you bend your knee, rotate the right arm, left hand to the shoulder, sit, step, circle your arms, separate your arms. Turn, level, bring your left arm across. Stand up, look, kick, bend your knee. Okay, let's try that again. I'll go your same direction. From high pad on horse. Okay, right, separation, kick. All right, here in this position, I want you to make sure your left elbow is in line with your left knee. It's over your knee, okay? Then close your arms. Now we're looking at the left direction. Stand up. Now we're gonna to look to the right, and then we're gonna kick. Bending the knee, rotate the right arm, left hand to the shoulder. Sit, step. Circle your arms. Separate your arms. We're gonna stop here. Your right elbow needs to be in line with your left if your right elbow can be in line with your left knee, you get extra points for today, okay? So your right elbow should be in line with your right knee, okay? Level turn and bring your left arm across for cross hand. Arms closed, we're gonna stand up. Then we're gonna look and then we're going to kick and bend our knee again, all right? So every time that we get into this position, I want you to make sure, I'm gonna go this position, that your elbow is over your knee, okay? We're just gonna be turned this direction. So don't have your elbow inside, and don't have it outside, it'll be too wide, okay, too, too big. So uh, if you think of, you know, roll back position, and then you come here, then your knee will be in line with your elbow, okay? All right, so let's try that again. From high pad on horse, Right, separation, kick, circle, step, circle, separate, close, level, bring your arm across, stand up, look, kick, bend your knee, rotate the arm, sit, step, circle, separate, close your arms, stand up, look, kick, Bend your knee. Okay, so um, anybody have any questions on this so far? All right, so now let's look at, uh, let's talk about looking direction. Here we are at right separation kick. I'm looking towards the right corner. And when my knee bends, I rotate, I'm still looking at this uh, right hand corner. Okay, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna step. I'm still looking at this corner direction. When my arm, my right arm starts to circle, I'm gonna start following that direction. And now I'm gonna stay looking at the left direction. When my left arm comes level across, I'm following the direction. So now I'm turning my head towards the right hand corner. Then I stand up. I'm gonna to look to the left and then I'm gonna kick and bend my knee. <clears throat> okay? All right, so let's try that from here. 
All right. Following the right arm direction, we open and we close. Now we're looking at the left direction. Now we look at the right. Close, looking at the left. Stand up. Turn, look. Looking at the right direction. Rotate your arms. Sit, step. Circle, looking at the left direction. Turn, looking at the right direction. Stand up. Look at the left. Kick to the left, bend your knee. Okay, how are we doing? See, this one's kind of simple, right? Because you already know how to do the first one. Anybody have any questions? Okay, let's do it again. Okay, I still go in the same direction. Okay, from high pad on four. Right, separation kick. Rotate, sit, step, circle, separate, close, stand up, look, kick, bend your knee. Okay, uh, any questions on this? Okay, now so I'm going to ask. When we first, of course it's me. When we first stand up and we're looking to the corner, or when we first look to the corner, do we stand up completely, still looking at the corner, then turn our head, we're, we're up on one leg, then turn our head? Yes. What is that timing? What is that timing? Yeah. Uh, what, what you said was correct. So, you know, we're, we're like this, right? Okay, so we come over here and we stand up. See how I'm looking over here? I look, then I kick. Then I come here and I do this one right and i stand up and then i look and i kick all right yes thanks nancy you have a choice then a choice of what oh okay yeah don't do that oh okay okay so michael just pointed something out i have a conversation with my husband okay so so what he did was this he says okay well they have a choice here's his choice okay here's your choice Okay, or we like this, we'll come like this, and we close the arms, and we'll go like this, and we go like this. Okay, so um, we need to look before we kick, okay, because we need to know where we're kicking. Uh, you can look as you kick, but if you look at Master Young's videos, he always looks first. Okay, uh, okay so. Um, so anyway, uh, you can decide. Okay, so I need Michael here. <laughs> okay, so so you're probably asking yourself, at least one person here is, why are our arms circling like this and we close our arms and we kick, right? Okay, so if we look on it, uh, at it on an application level, so here I am at high pad on horse, right? Okay, so with his, uh, left hand, he comes to punch. He comes to punch. Okay, so I can get him here. This right hand now comes to punch. Okay, then I get him like this. All right, then from here, I cross and I go like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make them go this direction so that I can stand up. And this is a kick to the kidney. All right, so what we're doing is, is we're trying to catch their hand their arms as they are striking us or trying to strike us. So from here, you know, this comes here, this comes here. Then from here, I cross his arms. Then, you know, how, okay, stay like that. So, so from here, we're like this, right? Then I'm gonna cross my arms like this. So when we cross our arms, but it doesn't look like that in the form, then we get this shape. We get them to give us this part, and, and that's for both sides, okay? So we go like this, and then we're able to kick them, you know, here in the kidney area. Or, you know what, for those of us that can't reach that high, okay, you can go for the leg, go for the, you know, uh, wherever you can kick, kick, okay? 
So um, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, Mike, you're such a good husband. <laughs> and Nancy, we have another question. Okay. Um, it says transfer to the right side difficulty, weight to the right. So, um, uh, oh, okay, who's is this? This is Veronica. Oh, Veronica. Okay, Veronica, can you turn your microphone on and, and ask the question? Because I, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't think I explained it writing it because I always forget, but you're over here. And then when you go like to the right, does your weight go onto the right foot immediately? Or, I mean, I. I, I, I lose balance there. Uh, okay, so you mean after we kick and yes. we sit step, uh, you find yes. that, that, that your balance is skewed? Oh yeah, I fall over. Okay, well that, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can help. Okay, I'm okay. muting myself now so you can teach. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, remember it's not how high we kick. All right, so we don't have to, you know, kick high like this. Okay, remember, we can kick down, all right, if you need to, all right. So say, for instance, you know, I'm like this, and I decide I'm going to kick down, all right. When I bend my knee, you know, you can put your foot on the floor and go to a T-step. Then from here, step. Then from here, circle and separate, okay? Um, <clears throat> One of the things Tai Chi will initially help people with is their leg strength, all right? Why? Because we are in a, a, a seated position the majority of the time until we stand up to kick, uh, and then we have to lower ourselves down. Now, how do we lower ourselves down? It's kind of like going on an escalator. You know, we slowly start going down. We slowly start bending this knee to where we can reach the floor. So... Say for instance, you have knee problems or you know, uh, balance problems or whatever, okay? After you kick, put your foot on the floor, okay? Like you're in a T-step. Then now you should feel pretty stable. Then step out, okay, okay, so sorry. So go like this, step out, and then circle your arms, okay? So let's try that and see how that works. <clears throat> Let's start from high pad on horse. And we can do this for both sides, by the way. Okay, so here we are at high pad on horse. We're gonna circle our arms, close our arms, separate our arms, turn, stand up. Now, if you need to, you can go into a T-step here. Look, and if you need to, touch the ball of your foot on the floor. Then when you bring your foot back in, rotate your arms. Step, circle your arms, close your arms, come to the middle, okay, and kick. You can touch with the ball of your foot and then bring your foot back in. So you, you don't have to leave the floor for very long. Uh, for those that may have balance issues, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, all about uh, maintaining uh, safety is number one, okay? So you have to, to uh, 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 acknowledge to your body, I understand what's going on, and I'm not gonna push it too much. Uh, uh, so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna modify it this way, okay? Uh, uh, you can modify any footwork in this form uh, to accommodate yourself. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, when I say, uh, okay, you know, stand up, you can go and come to the center, okay, turn, kick, touch the floor, rotate your arms, sit, step, step, okay, so, uh, uh, and, and you know what, don't feel bad about it, because uh, if we're talking about your safety, um, and if you stand up like this, and then when you kick, uh, you know, you're falling, uh, that's, not a, that's not a very good, uh, uh, comfortable feeling, okay. Um, and I don't know about you, but as an adult, uh, there have been a couple of times that I've fallen on the floor. And I must say that the distance between here and there is quite long, okay? It, it feels like it's a long way down, okay? 
so, um, uh, uh, and we want to make sure that we don't cause our body injury, uh, especially like breaking a hip or any other joint in our body. Uh, we certainly don't want to do that. So, um, uh, uh, safety first. Uh, so, uh, and, and don't feel bad about it, okay? And, and just know that in time, you know, if you feel comfortable, you know, you can raise your foot up a little bit and kick and then come back down and put it back down. So, you know, we just take steps. Uh, um, and, and if not, then it, it, let it be okay. The most important thing is that you're doing Tai Chi. That's what's most important, okay? How high you kick, you know, uh, how well you kick, um, you know, that's kind of not as important as the fact that you're able to do all the movements. Uh, even when we modify, you're able to do the movements. And, and so Tai Chi will bring you, as a result of that, all the benefits that come with doing Tai Chi. So, um, uh, so feel good about being able to do the movement uh, regardless of, of if you're modifying or not, okay? All right, so let's try it again. So we'll go from high pad on horse and let's do uh, both ways. Uh, if you can stand up and kick, go ahead and stand up and kick. I'll do the modified version, okay? All right, so here we are at high pad on horse. All right, right separation kick, okay? Open, stepping, close, circle, close, all right? Stand up, look, kick. When you bend your knee, bring your foot back in, rotate your arm, sit, step. Circle, separate, close, stand up, look, kick, bring your foot back in, bend your knee. Okay, how's that? Did that work out better, Ms. Veronica? Okay, all right, so anybody else have any questions? No, okay, so let's take it from uh, a single whip. Let's go to cloud hands, single whip, high pad on horse, uh, right and left separation kick, okay? So we'll go single whip, we'll start here. Okay, make sure your torso is straight up and down. How do you get your, if you're leaning, how do you get your torso straight up and down? Take your hip and go like this. Push it in so that now it makes you stand up, okay? All right, so here we are. Our torso should be straight up and down. All right, cloud hands. One. Two. Three, single whip, high pad on horse, right, separation kick, left, separation kick. Okay, all right, and stop. All right, so uh, just a couple of pointers. One of the uh, uh, mistakes some students make when they do this movement is they'll do it like this. Watch my timing. Okay, now from here, this is what they'll do. They'll start to close their arms and they'll start to stand up. All right, we, we, we must remember, close your arms. Then stand up, okay? So let's make sure we're doing that. So let's go to high pad on horse. All right, right separation kick. Close your arms. Are both of your feet still on the floor? All right, then stand up. Look, kick. Then the knee, rotate the arms. Sit, step. Circle your arms. Close your arms. Are both of your feet still on the floor? Stand up. Look. Kick. 
bend your knee, all right? So make sure that both of your feet are on the floor when your arms are crossed before you, you stand up to kick, okay? <clears throat> the other mistake uh, students make, I'll go this direction, I'll go diagonal direction, okay, is I'll do it like this. All right, see where my elbow is and see where my knee is? You must make sure that you are supported. Your, your lower body and upper body are working in support of each other. Come here, Michael, for a minute. Okay, can you go into this position for me? Uh, yeah, okay, so go into your, your modified pose. Okay, so uh, actually I need you to face this direction. Okay, see how his elbow is in line with his knee? Okay, all right, so this is the point I want to make. If his elbow is inside and I push down here, see how he has no support, okay, or very little support. Or say he's on the outside of his leg, okay, his elbow is outside of his arm, his leg. You know, when you push down, there's, there's no support. But if your elbow is lined up, then you have your leg and your foot to support you to give you some better balance, okay? So we make sure that we're stacked up here, okay? So when you go inside, if somebody presses down here, there's really not very much going on that the lower body can help you with uh, because you're inside of your support system. So thank you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> so make sure that when you're in this position that your elbow is over your knee okay is lined up with your knee <clears throat> uh, even when we do movements like right ward off our elbow is on top of our knee it's over our knee okay so and, and it's for the same reason for support reason okay so make sure that your arms are closed before your foot leaves the floor to stand up to kick Make sure your elbow is in line with your knee. Make sure both of your arms are kind of level, all right? Not, one's not lower than the other, all right? And, um, and another thing is, uh, uh, you know, people often ask, well, you know, I start to lose balance when I stand up to kick. All right, I, I used to have that same problem uh, until I figured out uh, my breathing was not right, okay? So if you go to stand up, and you hold your breath, then now everything's kind of tight, and so now your balance is gonna be off. So the thing that you can do is, is when you go to stand up, okay, breathe in, breathe out, okay? Have your breath, uh, you know, uh, help you uh, when you're standing up to kick, uh, and uh, we're gonna be getting to more kicks in this section. Second section is known for or it, it's the kicking section. So this is when we start doing a lot of our kicks. And uh, so uh, you must make sure that your middle body is comfortable, is breathing comfortably, because the moment it starts to tighten up is when your balance is gonna be affected. So uh, make sure that you are uh, uh, keeping your middle body uh, relaxed, okay? Comfortable uh, breathing, okay? So let's try it one more time, and I'll cue you as far as uh, some of these things, and then we'll uh, go from there, okay? So from high pad on court, all right. Open your arms. Circle, circle, and step to separate. Now, is your left elbow over your left knee? Close your arms, level, close your arms. Both feet on the floor, stand up. Okay, breathing in, breathe out, kick. Rotate, sit, step, circle, separate, close, stand up, breathing in, out, bend your knee, okay? So hopefully the breathing will help you feeling a little bit better. Even, you know, for those, you know, that touch the floor, breathe out and breathe in, you know, kind of a thing. So, um, you know, have your breath work with you, okay, not against you. All right, any questions? No? Okay. We'll go ahead and close class. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you, Didi, for uh, your technical assistance, as always, uh, uh, for helping all of us. And uh, remember, 
keep a lookout in your email box for the survey, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.